First, it was Solon, then Avon Lake, and tonight, Mentor. That community is dealing with the controversial issue of controlling its deer population. Yeah, should they shoot them, chase them away, or do something else? We sent our rich geyser to Mentor to see just what action the city would take. Deer crossing signs are everywhere in Mentor, and for good reason. The severe overpopulation has increased the rate of deer car collisions, which is a hazard to humans. The city is adding deer to the list of nuisance health hazards along with rats, raccoons, and skunks by banning feeding of these animals. It's an emotional issue. I'm here to defend my right on my property to do whatever I wish. Feeding the deer is, uh, is something that's emotional for some people, but in the end of the day, it's really very harmful. Mentor City Council debated the new ordinance. Most everyone agrees the loss of habitat is forcing the deer into the neighborhoods. Mentor's woods are decimated and thin. There's no understory of saplings to replace the older trees when they die off. City officials say they want feeding to stop so they have a healthy herd for Mentor's future. They're really hurting these deer by doing that because you're keeping them in that environment instead of having them in the environment they belong, and that is in our parks. They have nowhere to go, and whether someone wants to feed the squirrels, whether they want to feed the birds, or whether they want to put out a little feed for the deer to help them through the winters, a tough winter, I think that's a personal choice people should be able to make for themselves. I don't think it's something that you know the city should be dictating and assuming that you know people are trying to do this to interfere with their calling program. Bow hunters and police SWAT teams are already calling the herd as part of the city's comprehensive program. On your side in Menor, Rich Geyser, News Channel 5.